hey, look for once. I'm actually back to taking some video with Chickpea and Penny. It's been a while because uh, it's been busy and I've had lots of client dogs in, so a lot of the clients like for me to take some video so they can uh, keep in touch with what their dog's doing. Sorry, I had to give my stay command there. I thought I would talk a little bit about the stay command actually. And uh, one of the things that I've seen some people do, and in my opinion, I would say it's not a good thing to do. Uh, so I've got them in a stand stay across the street. So if you're doing stuff like this, that's awesome. If you want to work um, a stay command crossing the street, uh, make sure like this, it's a super mellow street. I mean, uh, yeah, you guys do what you want. And you've seen me put my dogs on a stay on a busier street, but um, that's because they're on e-collars and I have worked with them so much that I trust them. Um, one thing you don't want to do though, if you ever do something like that and you leave your dog on a stay command and cross the street, um, first of all, you better have one hell of a rock solid stay command. Make sure it's on a totally quiet street like this and there's no traffic around. Make sure that they're off leash controlled and all that stuff's in place first. But the one thing you don't ever want to do, don't ever put your dog on a stay command and then call them across the street, okay? Penny's getting a little out of line there. Um, we always want the dog to think that they can't cross the street without us there, without our presence and our guidance, right? So um, calling a dog across the street is going to uh, instill in them um, a confidence that they can cross streets on their own whenever they want, and we certainly don't want a dog thinking they can do that. So just my little tidbit for today. Um, but be very wary of uh, training your dog and crossing the street. Uh, Again, like I said, I do it. They're on e-collars right now. I've, I've done enough stay work that I know they're not going anywhere. And I look around, make sure there's no traffic coming. If a car started coming down the street, I would just cross back and, and get beside my dog. So, okay. Anyway, it's my two cents. Don't, don't call your dog across the street. Walk it across the street together.